Hey everyone, it's High Tech Man here. I'm finally here at Vegas. We're here with CES. It's lots of fun. I've got my badge. We just got through with the second floor of the convention center. And I gotta say, there's a lot of things to see. I mean, you're gonna have to break it down into like viewing a floor a day, basically, because you're just tired at the end. But I'm not gonna ramble very much. I'm gonna show you some of the things that actually they were advertising. We can see here that they actually have a lot of 3D printers. They've been just pushing a lot, a lot lately. I have no idea why, but I mean, you see a lot of these things. I mean, you've got things from like seeing a Iron Man mask being made to some of the characters from uh, The Walking Dead. You see a Captain America. You see some uh, Halo units and things like that. It's all really cool. All these things, hard to believe, they're all made out of a 3D printer apparently. But uh, that's just one of the biggest things that I've been there at uh, actual CES as far as where I was. Uh, they've been pushing a lot for 3D printers, as you can see here in some of these clips. But another thing that I've been pushing is also cameras, as far as mini cameras, portable cameras, and basically security cameras too. Uh, you see a lot of IP cameras, you see a lot of the uh, like basically GoPro ripoff kind of cameras, but they're still like the same thing, more budget friendly, and hopefully you'd be able to see a little bit more competition into those little small cameras. The next thing we're all going to see is uh, cell phones. They actually have uh, companies like, for example, you'll see here ZTE actually have a new type of cell phone that they're going to be releasing. Uh, and they also have a bunch of these uh, look-alike kind of phones. They're kind of like the Samsung look-alikes, but they actually look pretty good as far as their specifications, the way they uh, utilize, the way you hold them and you use them. Something I also wanted to point out is I actually was able to stop by the CNET booth and uh, have a demonstration of them testing out some kind of polymer, what it looks like for a iPad. And you can see there is that they're dropping the thing right now and it's hard to see. So if you have a weak heart, you should look away right now. But uh, they drop it and they actually, uh, they throw it back up and they miss. And I'll, I'll let you see a small clip here. The iPad's got to work, dude. Uh, no, no. Nothing, nothing. It's dead. Is it really dead? Oh, yeah. Nothing? It's out of battery. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. Hello. What do you guys think? Hello. Hello. I mean, it wasn't going to drop it live. Let's just drop it again here. <laughs> <laughs> another one? All right. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's, keep, let's keep going. One hand. Again, another skill. Last three. Great, great, great catch. Keep on hearing the words, be careful in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here you go. Come on, guys. Flat or flat? Flat. Flat or on the corner? Flat. 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 But they're actually pretty good. I mean, 30, for 35 bucks, you can get like a really nice tablet. And they were just also pushing for cheap, uh, inefficient, or cheap, inefficient. They're actually pushing for cheap and effective tablets that are like basically $35. So that was in interesting. They also had another deal where they had a phone insurance, which was different. I, I've seen all their insurance packages in the past, but this is a company just solely based for phone insurance, which, I mean, I've seen something like this in the past, but it's not as good, and sometimes it's cheaper to go do it yourself, but you know, there's something interesting that you don't see really every day. NVIDIA was also there. They were actually uh, advertising their new uh, Tiger chip, I believe it was the 105. Uh, but it was amazing just to see the thing in action. You can see some of the clips here of, of the chip actually working as far as playing a game or something like that. And Razer was also there. They were advertising some of their new devices such as, you know, you'll see here their headphones or their uh, a new server that was actually made. This server is supposedly supposed to be a very good emission server, really good specifications, and like great with airflow so that way you don't need very many fans blowing. They also had another thing which was a, the Razer bracelet, which was basically their way of tracking your health and doing things like that
And last but not least, the buzz of CES as far as the second floor was going was watches. It's just watch, 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 watch. We had watches with Android, watches that were stylish, watches that were syner synergizing with your phone or synchronizing, uh, all kinds of things with watches. I mean, it's like you couldn't go without anywhere without looking at a watch. And as you can see also in this clip is that Epson, of all companies, are actually trying to get into the watch business. Uh, you can see that they're actually trying to do like uh, kind of like with the Pebble Beach watch where it's uh, more of a workout thing where it's monitoring your heart rate, it's monitoring all these things. Uh, they also have an app to go with it too, you can see. And that's just, I mean, some of the innovations that other companies are just trying to do because, again, like I said, it's all about the watches for some reason. It's all about who's going to be first on your wrist, basically. So Steam actually made an appearance as well. You can see here by the Steam machines, they actually have further, they're advertising for their new Steam OS. They had multiple different things. Also had here, like you can see the uh, key or the actual controller that they're planning to use as far as concept goes. And it actually looked pretty good. I mean, it felt like a dummy model, but you can also see that we have the multiple different machines that they were probably trying to do either like a small slim design or a big design or you can see that all the different kind of capabilities ones you also see things like the tiki computer that was out there uh, that were, have already been out in existence that they basically modify with steam os so it looks pretty promising and another thing that they were also doing was accessories accessories were just everywhere you would see companies like for example uh, point mobile or uh, all tech or you know this Weird companies like that that were used to do just one thing, and now they're getting the accessory game. It's really something else. So, everyone, that's my wrap-up with CES. As far as day one is concerned, we still have at least three more days left, and I'm excited to see some of the new stuff on the other floors because I, I just did as much as I could for the day before I started feeling kind of tired. I'm also going to try to catch a show today. But uh, anyways, like I said, this has been High Tech Man signing off, giving you some more CES coverage.